All right, now we want to look at some equations of lines uh, where I'm going to give you the slope, but I'm not going to give you the y-intercept. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to uh, work through those guys. So here's our third example in this series. Uh, let's look at finding the equation for a line that has a slope of 4, and the line needs to pass through the point negative 3, negative 2. Uh, there are uh, several ways that we have of going about doing this. And let me show you one that's probably going to be the easiest and quickest way for you to, uh, to find the equation. Again, working with that point, or excuse me, with the uh, slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. It would be great because I already have this slope. I could just say, okay, y equals 4x plus, but I don't know what my b is. That's the guy that's going to get me into trouble. Well, look what we do have. We have one set of coordinates for a point or a known solution for this line, x and y. Well, if that's the case, in this formula, you have your slope, which is 4. You have an x coordinate. You have a known y coordinate. That just means that you don't know the b. And so, really, it's just a matter of plugging in these three numbers and solving for b. Now when I do that, so my y coordinate is negative 2, my slope is 4, my x is negative 3. And then of course b is what I'm trying to figure out. Well, this is just a nice simple equation for us to solve. And when we solve this, we get b. Remember, b is not our y-intercept exactly, but it gives us the y-coordinate for the y-intercept. And then we can use that b and my slope to get the equation for the line. So let's just quickly finish this guy. Negative 2 is equal to negative 12 plus b. Add 12 to both sides. And then you're going to find out that 10 equals b or b equals 10. So we put all of this information together. Here's my slope. Here's the y-coordinate for my y-intercept. So your equation is y is equal to 4x plus 10. Now, for all of these problems, you do want to make sure that you check your work. When I look here, I think it's pretty easy to see that this equation does have a slope of 4, or would give me a line that has a slope of 4. Is negative 3, negative 2 a solution? Oh, we can check that. If I were to plug in negative 3 for the x, 4 times negative 3 is negative 12, plus 10, and that gives you the y coordinate of negative 2. So, yeah, it checks out. And then we should be happy. I mean, we were already happy because we're doing math, but uh, we should continue the happiness anyway. Now, this is not the only way to do this problem. Uh, the other way is to use a formula called the point-slope formula. The point-slope formula is a formula that uses a point on the line and the slope of the line to get you the equation of the line. Uh, so the point is typically given, uh, you see it used in the formulas, x1, y1, and of course your slope is going to be represented by m. Here is the point-slope formula. It says that y minus y1 is equal to your slope m times x minus x1. So, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and use the last example, this number 3, in the point-slope formula and see what happens. I mean, as long as we do everything correctly, we should get the same result. So, here's my formula. Let's go ahead and plug into that. So I'm going to keep my y the way it is, minus, now your y1 is just going to be this y-coordinate that we used up here. Now, when you plug in, make sure you use parentheses, be very careful. So that's minus a negative 2. The minus is part of the formula. The negative 2 comes from the 
uh, from the coordinate itself. And this is going to equal your slope, and of course your slope was already given up here as being positive 4. So 4 times Let's see the rest of this formula. It says x minus x1. So x1 is the x coordinate up here, negative 3. So again, use parentheses. Be very careful with how you do this. So x minus a negative 3. And then we're going to close off that whole expression. All right, so let's check this out. We have y. That's going to become a positive 2 equals 4 times x plus 3. Of course, minus a negative 3 is going to give you the positive 3. Let's distribute on the right side of the equation. So y plus 2 equals 4x plus 12. Subtract 2 from both sides to get y by itself. And you see that y is equal to 4x plus 10. And this is the same answer that we had before. Two different ways of working the same problem and we get the same answer. So that's going to make you feel good, right? Well, in the next video we're going to look at doing another example of this. I'm using uh, both the slope-intercept form and the point-slope formula. So stay tuned.